Welcome back for another uh, video today. We got some more plugins and I know you guys like these plugins. So we're here to show off some plugins. Now, uh, today I got two kind of cool plugins and one's coming in from Excel Drow, the legend, as well as another one coming in from Nori Hero. I, I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but I think, I think it's Nori Hero. Don't, don't judge me. I'm trying. But what better way to show off something than to just jump right on in so we got an instance of obs open right here and i'm going to show you this first one which is pretty simple but it's kind of effective depending on how you roll with things with your streams and everything you're doing inside of obs but it's called scene notes doc and it's uh coming in from excel Dro. so you can go up here and if you go over to your uh, your view and you go to docs and you scroll down here you see a new thing called scene notes and when you click on that you get this little tiny box uh which you can write on which is Nice. Now, what else can you do with this? Well, basically, you can kind of put these wherever you want. So it's like a little notepad, but let me show you kind of its benefits here. So now that we have uh, three different scenes here, I'm going to go type up here. And we're going to call this uh, maybe scene one. And then I'm going to click uh, maybe this is my notes and uh, camera to saturated. Cool. Now I have a little note there. Now, why is that so cool? Well, now if I go to scene two, you can see that the notepad goes away. It specifically puts a note into the scene that you're working with, which is kind of cool. So if I click on scene one, there it is back in here and you can see right on the top left, that is the uh, the notes I have. Now you can do this for all the different scenes here. So sometimes you're doing a little situation in which you're working with different scenes while you're streaming and maybe one of your chat uh, viewers or something like that maybe gives you a little notice like, hey, that little icon is out of place or something like that. You're, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get to that later. Let me go ahead and just type that in like icon out of place. Cool. And I'm back to the stream and just going right back to my normal thing. And I can go edit that stuff later. Now, maybe if I forget in terms of which scene they were talking about, I'm like, oh, what icon? I don't know. Well, I specifically put it in the scene already in these uh, this little notepad, which is pretty nice. On top of this, you also have a different couple options here. And if I go ahead and uh, highlight this, I can right click and go down to font, maybe underline it and uh, hit okay. So now you can see I got this big thing over here that tells me uh, camera too saturated, icon out of place, but you know, maybe I'm not into the uh, the underline, so I'm gonna go back into my font. That's good. Now what I also can do is I can right click on it again and I can go ahead and hit uh, text color and we can color this however we want. So maybe I wanna go like, you know, kind of like a dark green. That's pretty good. Maybe take this one right here and uh, let's turn that one blue just like that. So now I can actually sit here and really kind of customize the way that this stuff looks. Maybe I want to make scene one maybe a little bit more bold. So I go back up to a font, bold, hit OK. And maybe that's what I want. Maybe now I can put my notes in here and make it kind of nice and easy for me for later on to go ahead and edit this stuff. Now, if I happen to close out of OBS, whatever, uh, I'm good. It's still it's still in there. So that's the cool part. And it'll just carry through. So every time I open up my OBS, I'll see my notepad. I'll be like, oh, right, scene. Oh, I got I to gotta go turn down the saturation of the camera. And I got to move that icon that was out of place. Pretty simple, but an effective little tool. And, you know, you could open up a little notepad and save that somewhere. But, you know, that's just one extra step that some people don't want to do. And this is right here and ready to go for you. So the next uh, little perk and thing that we got here is actually kind of cool, which uh, is called Face Tracker, and it's coming in from Nori Hero. Again, if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. But basically what it does is it tracks your face. It can zoom in, it can zoom out, it can do all these kinds of stuff. You can connect it with like channel points and, and, and coins and redemptions and all this kind of stuff on your on your Twitch streams to have somebody enable this for you, uh, which I don't know, I maybe I can make a whole video on that, how to use channel points to activate things in your stream. Yeah, we can get to that some other point, but you can also just hit it to a hotkey, but check this out. So if I go over here and we're going to go ahead and get rid of these, uh, these two scenes here, you can see I have a camera and, uh, if I add a new scene and I right click and I add this new thing called face tracker, just like this, boom, it's looking at my cam already. Now it, you don't really see much, but oh, now it's starting to zoom in and you can see it's just going real deep in there. But if I move, you can see it's also kind of moving with me pretty cool man right uh and what's kind of nice about this is i'm not seeing the uh the cpu percentage uh rising up from using this thing so pretty cool and if i lean in and lean backward it's going to go ahead and try to follow me even though i don't have autofocus on this lens you can see that it's trying to follow me and keep up with me so if i double click back on this thing you can actually choose what source is being looked at here so all the way at the bottom you have the the source and you can change that to whatever you want so i'm going to leave it on camera because that's all i have there up here you got some other options now one thing that's kind of nice is you can actually take the zoom back a little bit so if i didn't want to have too much of a zoom there i can always come over here and dial down the uh the zoom intensity or i can get really extreme in here and really start to get up into some uh some nasty looking pixels so 
we get up in here and looking nice and close here that's looking kind of kind of weird so if i go ahead and start to modify some of this stuff i can actually zoom out and i can uh, actually change the orientation of where it's trying to look at so no matter where my face is i can always tell it like oh look a little bit this way of my face or maybe scroll over here and look this way so what i can do is i can zoom in a lot here maybe go to something like 95 you can see it's getting quite close so what I can do is like, you see how my eyes are on the right side of the frame. I can always kind of, you know, counter that and maybe move it over here. You could also see it's kind of cutting off my mouth a little bit. So I can kind of dial this up. I'm using my scroll wheel to do this. And maybe that's looking kind of good. Maybe take it back a notch there. And maybe that's what I like right there. But maybe it's a little too zoomed in. So let's go ahead and dial that back just a touch. And maybe that's good. Pretty cool, man, to get a little face tracker. So maybe you have a little uh, command somewhere in there that just all of a sudden zooms in while you're gaming and now everybody's seeing a close-up of your face as you're getting really intense into the game and they're like looking at you and staring at you and they want to they want to see your your eyeballs so you make sure that this is in the correct position and and you're just really gaming but you really get in there but your camera can still track you because it's you know it's uh it's a face tracker that's what it does so it's, it's trying to track you this is pretty cool and it's cool simple little things like this that just take your streams to the next level and give you a little something to play with and give your viewers something to play with as well so if this is something that you guys like you can always use it but that's it that's this uh simple little uh video here appreciate you guys watching if you guys uh haven't already done so maybe consider liking and subscribing no pressure man i do appreciate all you guys uh watching these videos and giving it a old thumbs up if you haven't subbed already maybe hit that sub button dude i don't know man it would help me out as well as hitting that like button to boost that video view up a little bit and get it to other people's eyeballs so we can grow this little family of ours you know what i'm saying so anyways thank you guys for watching appreciate it i'll catch you guys in the next video i got another uh a couple plugins coming in so yeah exceldro nori hero hyro thank you appreciate i appreciate these uh these cool little things here uh it's all simple stuff as well as uh, advanced stuff so uh, it's cool i love plugins man they're so much fun with obs Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like and sub. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.